Reports indicate that gunmen posing as law enforcement officers shot three individuals, one fatally, at a bar in Clarendon. A man was killed and two others were injured when gunmen posing as law enforcement officers invaded a bar on Rectory Road in Buckner in Clarendon. The deceased has been identified as 29-year-old Troy Roswell, a bar operator and security guard of Pearl Harbor in Buckner in Clarendon. Roswell's girlfriend and another man were shot during the attack. The police reported that close to 9.15 p.m., the victims were inside a bar that was being operated by Roswell when three men armed with firearms knocked and shouted, Police, do not move. The unscrupulous individuals then gained access and proceeded to open gunfire in the direction of the victims, hitting Roswell multiple times in the head and upper body. His girlfriend was shot in the breast and hand, and the other man was shot in the foot. The gunmen escaped in a car that was waiting outside. The police were alerted and the victims were taken to the hospital, where Roswell was pronounced dead and his girlfriend admitted in serious condition. The third victim was treated and released. The police mentioned that security presence had increased in the area as this incident is likely to lead to a reprisal. Reports indicate that two motorcyclists were killed after their bikes had a collision along the Landilo Main Road in Savannah Lamar in Westmoreland on Tuesday. One of the deceased has been identified as 67-year-old Roy Porter, a laborer of Big Bridge District in the parish. The other victim remains unidentified. Police have stated that close to 6 p.m., Porter was riding a green 2020 Road Orc motorcycle along the roadway towards Big Bridge. On reaching a section of the Landilo Main Road, the unidentified man who was riding a red Cheetah Special Edition motorcycle in the direction of Savannah Lamar overtook a line of traffic and lost control of his bike. He then had a collision with Porter's bike, which caused both men to be thrown from their motorcycles. They both sustained head and body injuries, resulting in Porter being killed on the spot. The unidentified male later succumbed to his injuries in the hospital.